It's time to do 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 Oh wait, no, this is the wrong card game, isn't it? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video. This is of a real-time strategy game known as Lost Kingdoms. In fact, there's two games in the series. I don't think it went any further than that. Um, what you basically do is you are dealt a couple of cards and you summon monsters off of those cards to battle off whatever monsters happen to be, I mean, that you happen to have to battle off. And it's a rather interesting game, very unique. In fact, I've never seen any game like it. Uh, so if you want a new experience, definitely check out the Lost Kingdoms games. I think you will be pleasantly surprised by them. Uh, they seem to have uh, like a cult, uh, not not cult, uh, like a niche fan base, so to speak. So uh, there is a, a loyal, a small but loyal following to this game series. I don't know. I bothered to mention that. <laughs> I, I guess I'm saying it's it's how well the games are known is basically what I'm trying to say here. And yeah. It's a very, very neat series, and I don't really have much more to say here because we're in the intro, and the intro actually is misleading in a way because it, it's not how the game actually plays. You'll see when we actually get into the game, and I said actually twice there, technically three times now. Alright, title screen. I will start a new game, and Kadia's fine. Yeah, I just don't have to just keep the name as the default. Whoa, a whole forest, huh? That's, I don't think that's smoke and mirrors. I mean, I, I've seen magicians make helicopters or elephants disappear, but not a whole forest. So I think something serious is going on. I mean, you can't uproot trees to move them out of sight, after all. <laughs> anyway... So there's a mist that's going all over the world, and it's wiping things out, basically. So that's something we've got to deal with here. And so it starts. The adventure through this kingdom that we don't know the name of, really. <laughs> Unless I wasn't really paying attention, I was just explaining the, the backstory of the game, like how it's going down. Oh, you can move the now loading thing on here if you'd like. Woo! With a control stick, yeah! Nice artwork, by the way. Yeah. And here we are. No, it's not first person, don't worry. <laughs> it's third person overhead, sort of. Oh, poopers. Well, let's see what's up. Oh, it actually looks like it's not just at the gates, it's already at the... It's in the sky, unless it's just a bad overcast of clouds. Well, abandoned castle! Get the cards! Save the cards! Forget the men, women, and children, just get the cards! Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna talk to all these guys. There's, oh, this is a random gameplay video here. Uh, by the way, I'm a very fast reader, so... I'm taking advantage of that here. If you want to read what they're saying, just pause the video here. I mean, pause the video whenever you see or go back, whenever you feel, dang it, Katie! Or Katie! <laughs> hmm. Did I say Katie? Hold on. Katie, yeah. I, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I already messed up on the name. I am the worst person in the world when it comes to names. I guess it's because I, I always have issues relating them with something. Like, I can memorize a load of Pokemon because they're based off of something else. But when it comes to names that don't really have anything that's attached to them, it's like, uh... <laughs> oh, that's not good. Don't worry, I'll get the cards, and I'll take this battle to the real-time strategy game of the Ancients. And that's a... a which way am I supposed to? I think I'm supposed to go straight, actually. That's where the camera seems to be leading me. But if I go to the right, I think it's going to swing around. I don't know, it doesn't swing around. Mm, 
mean, I, I'm definitely supposed to go... Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I'm going the right way. I can use the uh, C-stick moves the camera. I forgot about that. This is... Well, this is the right way, actually, but I want to show the other stuff, of course. And uh, at the upper left corner there, you'll see my HP. There's also... Um, Actually, the bar isn't up there now, is it? Uh, there's a, a magic bar which you have a limited supply of that you can replenish by... Oh, okay, that's what I thought. That you can replenish by defeating enemies, of which you'll see very shortly. Anyway... Yep, 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 wrong way. <laughs> Here we go... Once I open the chest, the game officially begins! It's a dual desk! <laughs> Well, not quite, but it does give you the abilities, I mean, the ability to use your monsters and the cards. Uh-oh. I'm trapped. Gotta whip out my deck. Oh, 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 oh. I, yeah, I will unleash their power. Bring it on now. I mean, you know, to them. <laughs> Just kind of messing up with my words. I don't know why. Yeah, and that's basically how the game works, sort of, is that you use... See the cards are associated with different buttons on there, and you can summon them you, with the uh, respective buttons, and it deals a new card every time you use up a card. Don't worry, you've got plenty of cards for the first fight, because, you know, it's, it's the first fight, after all. <laughs> so, we've got a skeleton, and this, this card right here... See what I use that? It's, it started burning, and that's... In, uh, see that 10 at the upper left corner? That indicates how much um, magic you have to use your cards with. See, it went down to 9 now, and when I grab that crystal, it goes back up to 10. And the cards, uh, they indicate how many times you have to use them by that burning line. And I'm just gonna slash you with my lizard buddy there. There we go. No problem. Way, way too easy. But of course it's going to be easy, it's the first game. <laughs> I mean, the first uh, battle in the game. And that's really all there is to uh, the first part of the game, actually. Because as soon as I leave here... Uh, where's... It should say level... Com oh, here we go, gotta talk to this one. <laughs> the old woman, I forgot about that. Because I remember it was... It was only just one battle for this first area. I should say this first initial castle. <laughs> Do you have cards for me? I'm a I'm quite the card collector here. I would be very handy, and they're great for defense. For that, for that oyster shell. <laughs> and you are ranked four. How well you did there. The more the better your rating, the more cards you'll be rewarded with at the end of the level. And I get to pick three cards out of this. Yes, I will! It's a guess. Oh, I got three new cards. It's the skeleton. And that's the um, enemy we seen, actually, just a while ago. You summon it, and then it starts attacking things on your behalf. This one's... I forgot what it does. This one heals you quite handy. They have a rather generic names, as you've seen. There's fairy, skeleton, yeah. <laughs> So it's rather easy to remember their names, at least. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna play another level here, because obviously that's not nearly enough for a uh, uh, random gameplay video here. So, to the next level I go. Actually, I think they're gonna automatically take me to... Uh, um, yeah, you can carry only 30 cards in your deck. But I think I'm gonna have to visit Gerd first. Wow, this is a long explanation. <laughs> then again, this is a real-time strategy game after all. So yeah, you can pause the game and check your deck. And you can edit the deck by adding cards to it. I recommend adding all cards that you got from your reward there right away. And... I think uh, when you select those cards, like I got to choose three out of six, so I think the cards are all in the same position each time. And okay, I think it's... Yeah, everything's set, alright. 
And you can also make different decks for different situations. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move on here. I don't, I shouldn't have. Oh, this is. These are all the cards that I have. But obviously, I don't have uh, very many of them. Uh, Dragon Knights are pretty good cards early in the game. Uh, I'm just. All right, Plains of Raul. So I guess I don't have to go over to Gerd after all. Woo! Loading screen! I'm actually pleased that I can play with something. Oh, I'm done. Oh, here's Gerd. I do? I, I've... I already kind of showed the basics, and that's pretty much all there is to the game, aside from uh, the strategy with using the correct cards at the correct times, based on the situation, experience with using the cards, and... Oh, okay, maybe I'm... Hey, I'm still a beginner. <laughs> Oh, geez, the goblins. Gotta look out for the goblins. Oh, and I'd also, I definitely recommend looking around the areas. Like, some people like to move around the, um... You're gonna follow me? Okay. Some people like to just, like, rush through areas, but in this game, you really, really want to explore stuff, because you can find cards for your deck, and they actually get added to your deck as they go, so they act as both a replenishing item as well as a way to increase your inv uh, like your, your card collection. I can't read this song, I can't read this. Oh no, goblins! Whatever shall I do? Oh, holy jeez. <laughs> Just teleporting all over the place, and I, I know that. I was kind of... I had to do that in order to beat that first battle. How else... What did they expect me to just, like do nothing in that first battle and, and, you know, just get killed or something like that. Alright. We got a goblin. We've got four cards. Let's attack. Oh, I wasn't close enough, was I? Man, that goblin is gassy. <laughs> that is a terrible order. No. Well, that worked. <laughs> I thought I was gonna dodge it at first because it went off to the side, but I guess the slash was good enough. Also, be sure to collect those crystals as you go. If you ever run out of your uh, magic, what'll happen is that you'll start having to pay to use your cards with your own HP. Well, that's not all that bad of a thing because uh, you can just, you know, dodge stuff so you don't technically need to have have to worry about your HP, you know, if you don't have to actually, I mean, if you're not taking any hits, but it's still something that, you know, you, you would like to be able to have some sort of backup, if at all possible, so try and conserve your magic, if at all possible. Oh, geez, that's not, uh-oh. Stop teleporting! You can talk to me behind me, it's, it scares me when you do that, you just pop out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, it's battle time! And you'll notice that the cards that you have in your inventory also do not replenish after each battle, so use them sparringly. Oh, we've got ourselves... ...quite the evil plant. And I'll summon the skeletons, I didn't show the skeleton yet. So there's a summon, and it'll attack on your behalf, as I showed you before, it's not very good at combating them. <laughs> In fact, all the summons aren't very good at combating, but they are uh, quite efficient at, you know, keeping enemies busy, so they have their own place in the game as well. <laughs> and this will spear through it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Voila. And there we go. The different sizes and different colors of the, um... Uh, crystals replenish your magic in different amounts. I'm gonna try and attack you from a distance just to be safe. Hey, there we go. Woo! Happy days! Woo! I love that little stream of light behind me. I don't know why I'm pointing stuff out like that. It's just being random, I suppose. I will go on. Why, thank you. And technically, I'm not a beginner. Even though I, I haven't played this game in the longest time, so... I guess I am rusty, but I wouldn't say I'm a beginner. Uh, card attributes. This teaches you um, the balance of the game, basically. It's it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors. It's it's that sort of thing. Water is strong against fire. Fire beats wood. Wood beats earth. Earth, be earth beats water. It's a yeah, it's a circle of life in strategy games. And wow, this is quite the tutorial stone here. <laughs> 
Another tutorial stone. Mm. I don't. I don't actually know the name of the stones. I just call them a tutorial stone because that's basically what they what they were here. It looks like I'm supposed to go to the right, but as I said, you should probably explore all sorts of stuff along the way just to make sure that you um, get all the stuff along the way so that you can build up your card collection and build a bunch of decks that are very powerful, which will get you through the game much easier. Eh, well, I suppose this is blocked off, so I don't think I actually have to go this way first. Yeah, I can't. Okay, just what I thought. You can't use cards outside of battle either. This is just like the traveling thing. Oh, and while it seems like the game has random battles, they actually aren't random. Like, if you were to go back through an area that you that you killed a monster that seemed like a random battle, it'll not spawn again. You won't see any monsters when you backtrack unless some event occurs and then you have to backtrack and the new events occur on the way back. So all battles in this game are actually event battles and they're not uh, you're not going to have to worry about um, having to really conserve your cards too much because of the way that the game presents itself like that. I mean, sure, you have to be careful with using your cards, but I mean that you aren't you aren't going to be forced into uh, using too many cards just by having an, an unlimited amount of battles in each area, is what I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. Battle time! Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, geez. Where, why do you guys have so much gas? Do you have a, a love affair with beans or something like that? Oh, I didn't need to use the fairy. I thought I still had a little bit left of that other card. Dang it, I should have paid attention. I heal myself for nothing. Nothing. Oh, geez, gas. Ah! That goblin is down. What about this goblin? Oh jeez, I took down the tree. I'm so sorry, tree! I didn't mean to. You provide delicious oxygen to me, but and I killed you by accident. Not cold blood, by accident. And another battle is done. Woo! Needless to say, with the uh, gassy goblins of this game also has its own uh, brand of humor every once in a while, so it's Always fun to see what's coming up as well in that regard. Alright. Moving through the plains. Well, it's not so much the plains. It's more like a, a pathway of grassiness. And, uh... Yeah, I already described that to the peeps watching. Thank you, signpost. <laughs> so, yeah, this is quite the handy little dealio here. Woo! Healing! And, yeah, you can plop stuff in there. Yeah, see what I mean? That The cards that I picked up along the way I can add to my deck. And I can't do anything else. So, let's move on. I definitely gotta be, uh, dang it. I gotta be more, uh, conserving with my cards. I don't think I'll run out of cards by the end of this. Because this is a, a rather short stage. It has to be, I mean. They, they can't throw something long at you this early in the game when you don't have that many cards. Anyway, now I have... I have that critter on my side. Sword fighting, definitely very handy. Stop farting on my plant. Ugh, I thought I had a card. <laughs> Dang it, I keep using my important fairies. My rustiness is truly showing. Well, goblin versus goblin. Gas versus gas. Take it on, baby. Yeah. The um, as you can tell, the monsters you summon do have more long longevity than the uh, cards that you use, like swords or dive bombing enemies, because you know they're one-shot cards as opposed to an enemy that walks around on its own. So as I said, they all every card has its own place in your deck. So it's a matter of uh, finding what you need and what you would uh, prefer for each situation. Hmm, signpost. Uh oh. I sense a boss. And my senses are never wrong. Eh. <laughs> I was just trying to go around there and I just kind of ended up pushing her. Can I push this barrel? No, I can't. 
I'm just exploring the side routes here just for the heck of it. Ooh, treasure chest, treasure chest. Give me, give me, give me, give me card, 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 card. Yeah. It always seems like that uh, cards are inside chests. People really value their cards. And I wonder if I should plop that in my deck right away. Remember, you, even if you go back, you're not going to um, encounter any random battles or anything like that. So it's uh, uh, definitely worth... Uh, doing stuff like that just to make sure you've got all the stuff you need before you move on. Alright, Goblin Fort. I'm trying to find a camera angle. The, the, the camera is like... Um, it, it's got four locking angles and I'm trying to find the best one. I, I would prefer to have a more uh, flexible camera. Like something that I can specifically choose the angle. I'm, I'm just used to that sort of thing. The camera's fine. It's just that it's what I prefer. Uh, in other games, basically. And I will go off the beaten path, because, as I said, gotta look for ye cards. Woo! I kind of feel like I want to go back to, um, get the card, I mean, get the card back my... Is this the... No, it couldn't be the boss. Because this isn't a random battle, or I don't think it's a random battle. I, I think I triggered the battle inside the fort, outside the fences. <laughs> I think that's what happened there. Alright, man, trap, you are down. And this is what I mean about the Dragon Knights being rather powerful. Look at how much uh, damage that does. Spectac- One HP! <laughs> really? Uh. Uh. <laughs> And it's, it's rather nice to match elements, but sometimes you don't have the right elements to match, so you're just going to have to work with what you have, which is part of the uh, uh, random draw factor of this uh, real-time strategy game, is that you've got to deal with what you have, basically. And, yeah, I guess the, I, I triggered the event on the way back, because, yeah, it teleported me from beside the fence th to the middle of that clearing. Anyway, boss time! Uh-oh! They have loaded themselves up with beans! And apparently this is the goblin boss. Apparently. It doesn't look much like a goblin, but it's the boss. Alright. You probably, probably should take the little ones... Oh! A dodge. Probably should take the little ones on first. Oh, poopers! <laughs> um, just because they'll be in your way, and I think you have to defeat all of them anyway, so... You know, I might as well throw out my summoning, summoning critters, see how they perform. Attack! Oh, I missed. My amateurish nature. I should say my rusty nature. Gonna plop a goblin in the middle of all of them. Oh jeez, I've only got two cards left. Are you really, really serious? Um, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> Maybe I should have went back to the save point to see if I was able to do anything about that. <laughs> Not sure if I'll be able to take it on with just the plant. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm doomed. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm capable of doing anything now because I ran out of cards in my deck. Maybe I shouldn't have done so much exploring. Then again, I was using a lot of cards by mistake too. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to... Hey, can I actually like... Just out of curiosity because I, I, I'm obviously... I mean, I obviously failed there because I was... Uh, making all sorts of mistakes, but what if I were to go back there and do the combat training again? Like, are you actually going to give me the tutorials again? Or what? Oh, wait, wait, wait a second, I should have um, switched the cards in my deck. And bloop, 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 bloop. 
Yeah, I really should have put those in before the battle. My mistake. I'd like to finish that um, goblin battle, if at all possible. I already got the uh, cards in the chest, so I don't think I will uh, uh, have any uh, issues getting through it now, because I don't have to worry about the, the cards in my deck running out. So I'm just going to cut back over to that final battle of the area, because I totally failed it. <laughs> Wow, can you seriously believe that I failed at the field training? I mean, <laughs> I don't even think I did that on my first run through the game. Then again, I always say that commentary distracts. Um, and you know, you don't, you don't quite think as well as you would normally do while you're commentating as you would if you were just playing normally, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rematch time! And I've got, hopefully, plenty of cards this time. I kind of used my Dragon Knight card though, so that may have been a mistake because of, yeah, they're very powerful against the goblins. And, well, let's see how this goes this time. Let's see if I can hit multiple enemies at once with this, because that's a good way to conserve your cards, is to lead enemies together like that and try and get them to be hit by one attack. Like if I were to do, there we go. That's much, much more effective. Eh. Ah. Oh no, you don't! I'm gonna hit all of you guys at once. Yeah, that does not do very much damage, but I'm still gonna hit you guys all at once. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've definitely got plenty of cards this time. All right, one remains. Just one. And it's down. And so is this random gameplay, because I'm done after this. <laughs> I've been playing for almost a half hour, actually. It's kind of went on for a lot longer than I expected it to. Then again, I didn't expect I'd have to repeat the field training of all things. Ugh. I truly sucked there. But now I got a five-star rating. And I will be rewarded with three cards as a result. So I'll take every other one. I think I could have done, did that either way. Ah, oh, I got all goblins. I think I would have been better off taking the one at the far right, because that's the boss. <laughs> oh, well. Sadness. And with that, I'm going to end off the random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.